Right? Saying things. Well, she's not wrong about Azuki talking about her. Azuki probably said quite a bit to Coconut in person, too. She can be pretty ruthless. Oh, I don't care if you're here or not. You can still ask. I'll help you to the best of my ability, sweetheart. Trust me. Or believe me. Well, if you insist. If Coconut can handle other kinds of tasks, then that would be a huge help to the shop. And I'm feeling a bit lonely, too. So, just like that, Coconut's secret training begin, or began. 30 minutes later. Gonna use that one. And why not? What'd you do wrong? Coconut crosses Jackley, completely breaking down. She's talking like how she used to before. Well, it wasn't so long ago that she was as she was as pessimistic. All right, let's go save another kitten. No need to cry this much over things, okay? It's not like I could do everything perfectly at first either. No, I didn't say that. Okay, well, we just need to teach you how to. Restrain yourself a bit. Cracking your neck isn't that hard. I don't think that. So don't talk like that. Well, um, that uh, might be true. No, don't, don't, don't. There have been quite a, quite a few cuts being broken recently. I guess she's the culprit. It's all part of the cafe's overhead, so I don't really mind, but... I don't know what that is. Let's look that up real quick. What is the Engel's Law? Is it like Murphy's Law? Yeah, let's find out. E-N-G... E-N-G... Angel's... Angel's Law. Angel's Law is an observation in economics stating that as the income rises, the proportion of income spent on food falls. Even if absolute expenditure on food rises. In other words, the income elasticity of demand of food is between 0 and 1. The law... Hey, what? There's a graph, hang on. I don't really get economics that much, so... So, as... So the higher income gets, the less income is spent on food, is that what it's saying? How does that apply to her, though? Doesn't really make a lot of sense. Don't talk like that. That's not necessary. Wait, 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 wait. Calm down. Take it easy, coconut. Let's just head upstairs for now, okay? You probably haven't had anything to eat yet, so let's take a break and think, and think things through, yeah? 
ものをいただける身分ではありませんから。No, no, no, sweetheart, you deserve everything. No, no, come on, let's go have dinner. I'll make you an extra large serving of omu rice. It'll be sweet and fluffy, okay? Do not. Creativity, Cashew, come on now. Baby girl, how old are you? I haven't had dinner either, so just get out of your work uniform and take it easy for a bit, okay? You work here. Super extra large, got it. And like that, the special training was put on hold. I love coconut. Jesus, how much did he make? The rice, the rice, the rice I get. It's just fried rice. It's the omelets. How many omelets did he make? There's more than enough here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Coconut sure can eat. Seeing her enjoying it so much made. Wait, seeing her enjoying it so much makes cooking for her more than worthwhile. Well, that's the fun part about cooking, having someone to give it to. I am a pastry chef, but I do have some experience cooking other things too. I sip my tea. As I watch Coconut gobble down the food with a smile on her face. Hmm, truth be told though. Today was the first time I actually paid attention to Coconut at work. She's definitely clumsy, no doubt about that. The way she works, you'd think she had her eyes closed the whole time. She was so nervous that she was pre she was so nervous that she was practically shaking. Was she always a spend under pressure? She has really good overall motor skills and reflexes, so she, so she should be pretty coordinated. But reality is harsh. Well, it's not like she has to get better in a day. Oh uh, yeah, what about the other cat girls? Like dinner and baths and stuff. I mean, Shigure and Mama are around, right? Mm, where the hell is he at? To what degree? What do you mean, you have a bell too? Oh, she's consistent. She's either really down or just plain stubborn. At least she's feeling well enough to eat this much. Anyway, I should change the topic. Ah, by the way, I've had something I've wanted to ask for a while now. When did you start changing the way you speak? You're suddenly speaking a lot more politely. Until recently, you always called the other cat girls Onechan too. You even add Sama when you address me now. I was just curious, that's all. She stops eating and lowers her gaze. It's obvious that she's having a hard time thinking of how to respond, so I throw her a lifeline. Ah, sorry. It's okay if you don't want to say. Your point? She puts her spoon down and speaks in a subdued voice. Okay, but what's that have to do with the way you talk? 
どのお姉ちゃんよりも体が大きくなっててもう子猫みたいなこと言ってられないって思ったからだから言葉遣いも態度も変えようと思ったんですやっぱり変ですか No, but it's not necessary. She smiles slightly, looking somewhat troubled and a bit defeated. It's the first time I've seen her make such a face. I'm not sure what to say. Coconut. Cat girls and humans have different ways of growing up. I recall what Sugar has said before. For a moment, I'm at a loss for words. I'm sure she had her own reasons for doing this. I shouldn't poke my nose into her problems. But, Coconut's my family. It's precisely because she's family that I have to tell her. She's important to me. I look Coconut straight in the eyes and swear at her and, oh, and answer her. It is. It's weird. <laughs> Coconut, even you understand, right? You're forcing yourself to be someone you're not. That's why you're having such a hard time. It's written all across your face. <laughs> Please don't start crying. She slightly bites down on her lip. It's as if she wants to say something, but instead she swallows her words. She averts her gaze in recognition. Do as much as them, you need to do as much as you can. Coconut. I want it. I grab onto Coconut's hand. Hands. And hold it as gently as I can. Hold them, because you're holding both. You don't need to do everything perfectly. It's okay if you're still just a kitten. I shake my head, cutting her off, and lightly squeeze her hands. Coconut, if you were in my shoes, what would you do if you saw that a member of your family was in pain and forcing themselves to be something they're not? Your family to me. I think, I think of us as brother and sister. Don't, don't say that. Don't say that when it gets weird later. I don't want to see you suffer like this. The same goes for the work in the store. I'm happy that you, Coconut, came to help out. It's not about whether you can or can't do your job well. Seeing you give your all in your own unique way makes me as happy as I can be. So don't say that you're worthless just because you aren't doing so great. It's just too sad. Coconut starts to tear up. And her clenched fist slowly begins to loosen. It's very like you to want to grow up and become a model cat girl. I'll help you out as much as I can, be it training or something else. You can talk to me like you always have. You don't need to pretend to be someone you're not. Just be yourself and stop trying to be so polite all the time. Oh, maybe be a bit, maybe be polite when you're on the floor, but other than that. You've been a precious member of the fan of my family long before you started talking so firmly, right? She slowly nods, with tears overflowing from her eyes. I can't tell which one I want. I want all three of these pictures to be a thumbnail, but we're a bit past that. She nods slightly, a smile spreading across her face. That smile at first was way too cute. I squeeze her hands in response. Well, 
Okay, she's saying that again. Okay. It's gonna be a bit weird, but we can live with it. Coconut takes my hand and places it against my her forehead. Her warmth freshly flows into my hand. The warmth is enough to convince me that she's fine now. I'm glad. Thanks for being part of my family. How precious. I gently bring my her head closer to an embrace. Time seems to stop as I continue to pat her on the head. Hello. Okay, now just loosen up. Relax. She cracking an egg or she beating some ingredients? Okay, she's cracking an egg. You don't need to do it more than you can just do it once though. It's, we'll work on that. We're making progress though. We can we can appreciate that. The fuck what do we have an audience? What is this? She strikes a victory pose like she's a soccer player who just scored. It was just her nerves and shaky hands that were making it hard for her. Although it's pretty amazing how she put effort into every little thing she does. In any case, she definitely made progress, so I celebrate with her. Well, you know that just because you cracked a neck, right? Yes. No, don't do that. Coconut looks at me apologetically, eyes upturned. Just seeing her react like just seeing her react like that makes me chuckle. I don't mind you calling me Oni Chan though. I didn't say anything the first time you said it. Oh no, you were fucking adorable. What are you talking about? I just told you that I think of you as a cute little sister, didn't I? If, that, if that's what you want to call me, then I don't mind at all. Well, if she's 5'6", I'm 6'3". There's a 9 inch di difference, so she's still smaller than me. Did I know what? Oh. But you, you do, you have me. And I guess that'll be our relationship until things go further beyond. You're still really small, Coconut. You're not that big. I don't know what the average height for a cat girl is, but 5'6 is still way below the average. For a normal person. I pat her on the head some more. Still, you're shorter than me, right? Besides, big or small, you're still really cute. I've only had Shigeru as a sister up until now, but I'm happy to hear that you want me as your older brother. Please just don't say that later when our relationship changes. She smells with a mixture of bashfulness and mischievousness. She repeats the words over and over like they were some sort of magical happiness spell. There was such a huge difference between her, how she had forced herself to act and how she was behaving now. I end up chuckling some more. You're so cute, Coconut. <laughs>